guys, welcome to another episode of Pots, Pans, and Priscilla. Tonight I'm going to be making keto fajitas as well as cheese taco shells and my guacamole. I'm going to start with the guacamole first. I have three avocados that I cut in half. I also have yellow onion. I used half of it and diced that up along with jalapeno and then one clove of garlic minced. I'm gonna add some hot sauce, cumin, salt and pepper, and then lime. Typically, I would also add a little bit of salsa, but that is not keto friendly, so I had to leave that out. I also left out tomatoes because my family does not like tomato. For the fajitas, I just got sirloin steak. I have not marinated it in anything because I do use the fajita seasoning. That is not gonna be zero carbs. Everything else should be pretty much um, low to zero carbs, which it is low, but I don't know if you're strict keto, that would be allowed. So remember, we are doing lazy keto. So anything I say may not be something that you've seen in another group or another recipe. I also have red, yellow, orange, green bell pepper, green onion, all's marinating in avocado oil, which is a great oil for keto. It's high fat, and this is something you really wanna purchase and use a lot of. I also put some uh, clove of garlic in here, and then I have my fajita seasoning packages. I've tried to make my own fajita seasonings, and it just doesn't taste the same. Like, you're, I, I feel like I'm just missing something, so. It's, it's an easy way out. I, I let the professionals do that. Then I have my cheddar cheese. That is what I'm going to make my taco shells with. And that is so yummy and it is super keto friendly. So let's get cooking. Okay, so you're gonna start with your avocado oil like I talked about. Just put a little in your pan. And then I take my fajita meat. Like I said, I got sirloin and um, I just cut it up. Put it in your pan. You're gonna want this to cook down a little bit until you add your vegetables. I'm cooking for five people tonight, so that's why it seems like a lot. And if you haven't seen my videos, Abby loves to eat. The girl can eat and she loves my keto meals. She loves any meal pretty much. I'm also preheating my oven right now to 400 degrees and we will start putting our taco shells together so we can throw that in the oven, the cheese for that. Okay, so I am making fajitas, but I am gonna also do a cheese taco shell. This is really good and if you don't know, in keto, you have to put a lot of things on parchment paper. So go ahead and get yourself parchment paper and um, it makes it just not stick to anything. So you just take your cheese, which I already shredded the cheese. That's another thing for keto, is don't buy pre-shredded cheese because it has starch on it, which is carbs, to keep it from sticking. So you shred your cheese and then you form it into like a little circle. Like what you think a taco shell would start looking like at the beginning. Okay, you're gonna do that and you just make as many as you need, which like I said, I'm cooking for five tonight. Maybe everybody doesn't want a taco. Abby doesn't usually use tacos, so I'll just make four taco shells. There, there's no measurement to the cheese. You just, you don't want it to be too thick because you are trying to melt the cheese down in a reasonable time. This was just a fun recipe. I don't even know how I figured it out, but it's carb free. And if anyone knows Asa, my husband, if you don't watch Fathering Autism, you should. His favorite meal is tacos. So when I was able to find a taco that I could make for him, oh, we're preheated. When I was able to make a taco for him, I think that kind of made his day. We're gonna throw these in the oven and bake them until the outside, um, outside circle is kind of crusty looking. You'll see what I'm talking about. I set the timer for eight minutes, but I'll probably check it around four. Just keep an eye on them so that they don't burn. You don't want them to be too hard. Our meat is starting to cook over here. You are gonna have a lot of juices to start off with and that's fine. Don't 
pour them out yet because I'll show you what you're gonna do um, once we get closer to the end of cooking the meal. I've got my taco shells going, I've got my fajita meat going, so let's go ahead and make the guacamole. I know a few people have asked for this recipe. All I do, like I said, I took three avocados, I cut them in half. These are perfectly ripe avocados. I think I am using them on the exact day that they need to be used on. If you're just starting out on keto, keto avocados are your best friend. Whoever thought that you would be eating things that are high in fat? When my friend Lauren told me, you need to eat more. I'm like, seriously? Have you seen me? I have never been told I need to eat more. <laughs> but it's working. I don't know if you guys follow our other channels, but uh, we've been doing this for about three weeks now. And I am down set a little over 17 pounds. So it is working. Then I'm just going to take my potato masher and mash the avocados. Asa likes his smooth. I don't like mine all the way smooth. I like it a little more chunky. I'm the one making it, so that's how we make it. <laughs> when he makes it, he makes it smooth. It's just whatever con consistency you like your avocados. Another thing we like to do is have guacamole with pork rinds. Now that we can't have tostitos because we're on the keto diet, we can have pork rinds, which is a really good snack. You can also cut cucumbers or bell peppers and have guacamole with that. That's really good. So whenever you have a cookout or something and you need to bring a dish, tell everybody you'll bring guacamole. That way you can add your own side to it that you know you'll be able to eat. Okay. So this looks about to be the good texture that I like it. There's a little chunks, but it is smooth. After I smash my avocado, I kind of figure this is like the holy trinity for the Mexican food. You know, I'm a Cajun chef, and so we have our holy trinity. Well, onion, garlic, and jalapeno. Sounds like the holy, tr holy trinity for Mexican. So I just pour that in there. I used to use red onion. Again, you cannot use that on keto. So you just switch over to yellow onion. Not a big deal. I didn't have fresh jalapenos, so I just took um, some from a jar and they work just fine. Mix that all together. Then you take your lime. I am going to use this lime squeezer. It also does lemons and we will link this down below and you can find it on Amazon. But you just put your lime in and squeeze. And you wanna get out all those juices and it really works good. And it's super cool, you just take it out. Completely done. Now we need to check on our cheese shells real quick. These look awesome. We're gonna let these sit up here for a minute and just cool off some. Next thing you're gonna do is add your seasonings. I add cumin. Cumin is a very strong flavor, so don't add too much. You can always start small and then add more later if you feel like you need to. Some salt. Pepper. and hot sauce. If you don't want hot sauce, that's okay. You don't have to. It's so good though. Okay, we're just gonna start with a little, mix it up, and then Ace is usually my taste tester to tell me what else I need to add to it. And that is your guacamole. It's finished, I'm pretty sure. We'll get our taste tester over here and he'll let me know if I need to add anything to it. You have the best job in the house. I do. I feel like I'm on like chopped or something. It's perfect. Really? Yep. Yay! I'm not chopped. <laughs> it's perfect every time. What are you talking about? Awesome. So your guacamole is finished. 
Now I'm gonna go back over to the stove, check on my meat, and get these vegetables in there. We gotta get these sauteing, and it is gonna be so good. And look at these beautiful colors. It's so pretty, it's a pretty dish. As you can see, I'm doing a science experiment with my two glasses here and my spoon. But this is how you're going to form the taco. So you just take your cheese and you drape it over your spoon to form your taco shell. Isn't that awesome? Did you guys want to see this? Are y'all are y'all wanting to know how this is done? I want to know. Come here. And this is how you make a keto friendly taco shell. Come on, give this. It really does look like a science fair project. <laughs> <laughs> when you said it, I say it was like, what? <laughs> Isn't that cool? That's cool. That's smart. I'm just really excited that you put so much cheese. Okay, so you just let that sit there while you cook your food. Our taco shells are setting up. They're doing great. Now we are going to add our vegetables to the meat. So pretty. This is a fun summer meal. All the pretty colors. Just kind of mix it around and then I'm going to get the fajita seasoning mix and throw that on there and you just put some water whatever the mix says and add that to it one pack of seasoning mix to one pound of meat so I'm going to go ahead and do two then you're just going to mix that around you want everybody to get some love some fajita love now we're just gonna wait for everything to cook. Food is finished. We are gonna get this plated up and feed the masses. See what I did there? We're the masses, in case you didn't know. <laughs> you probably didn't know if you don't follow our other channel. Anyway, thank you guys so much, as always, for joining us. And please like, share, and subscribe. We are on the road to 10,000 subscribers. So help me out. Comment down below. Let me know if you like this recipe, if you changed anything up. I am loving seeing all the comments of everyone that has started their keto diet with us. And those of you that have already been here, that's awesome. I wanna see what you guys wanna cook. So head over to Facebook and share your recipes on there and maybe I'll pick one to cook right here on Pots, Pans, and Priscilla. So thank you guys, have a great night, bye.